truckers prove that we need a federal response to this thing and we're just not getting it. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Back Tom Hartman here with you. Margie in Wisconsin Rapids, one of our uh, over the road truckers listening on Sirius XM. Hey Margie, what's on your mind today? Oh, I just want to talk about why it is so important that we have a federal response. Yes. Not only am I an over-the-road truck driver, I also belong to an international nonprofit organization that does reenactment of the Middle Ages. Hmm. We need. So you've done the. Federal, have you done the, the 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 Great Plague of the of the 1300s? Uh, pretty close. Uh, my my uh, summer vacation is going to war for two weeks. Um, hmm. Camping event. My closest to 12,000 friends, you know? Here's the thing. Yeah. When, you're, when you're doing anything, state by state, there needs to be federal regulations. As a truck driver, how are we supposed to figure out what the regulation is every state that we drive through? When we might be going yeah. through three, four, or five States a day. How are we supposed to know ahead of time which states have curfews? Which states are all of the restaurants closed except for drive-through? Hmm. The other thing that the federal government would help on this is to understand that they have an understanding of interstate commerce. Truck drivers, we're going through numerous states a day. Where are we supposed to eat if all of the restaurants are closed? Right. Trust me, I cannot take my 18-wheeler through the local McDonald's. Yep. Nor can any other truck. truck. They need, and this is where the federal government because they are the ones in charge of interstate commerce, can put the exceptions in to, okay, you need to, you know, if you're shutting down restaurants or anything, you need to leave the truck stop restaurants open so we can eat. Well, is there an, an added problem that when the restaurants close down, the bathrooms close down too? No, the bathroom, well, not necessarily we're afraid that's going to come next um most of the big truck stops are taking you know preventative cautions they have closed on their own closed down any buffets closed down any salads uh you know salad lines um they've actually closed down that we're not able to use our own mugs for refills on coffee we have to now use which they have been pushing for years for environmental purposes we can't use those right now because there's too much risk of cross-contamination so they're right, doing what sense. they can but there needs you know i i can't go from ohio to new york not knowing what the rules are, and now they're, now places are coming up with uh, curfews. How hmm. do we know what they, you know, right. there has to be so, a national... So the National Transportation Safety Board, the NTSB, that regulates trucking across the United States, correct me if I'm wrong, should have a simple website that FN. gives all this information to truckers. Actually, it's FMCSA. So there's your correction. Okay, thank you. What's that stand federal, for? Uh, federal, F, federal Motor Carrier Safety Association. FMC. Okay. Yeah. Federal Motor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're, yeah. They're they're the ones that actually regulate us. Now they have done some. You mm -hmm. know, they are doing a standard, and this is done in hurricanes and every. You know all the time, is they're waiving mm -hmm. our hours of service regulations if we are responding to, the, to an emergency. So that if we're trying to bring food from California to Chicago, we can bypass some of the, some of the rules. 
that that is it. Right. That's about the only thing that's been nationwide so far, and that isn't even clear yet because it doesn't. The regulation doesn't say yet. It doesn't have the specifics. Right. I you know, it. it's Margie. It's too I, broad. I, I, thank it's you. Too thank broad. you for the heads up. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, and we need to do something. And again, this is a good reason to be calling your senators and your members of the House of Representatives and say, damn it, do something. Margie, thank you. Dwayne in Kansas City, Missouri. Dwayne, we have a little over a minute. You got a quick story to tell us? Yeah, I do. Actually. But I did want Dwayne? to add one thing on what she said. I think they ought to shut the public down to the truck stops. That's just for truckers now. Yeah, amen. Well, amen. No, um, yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. Um, no, I, I went to work today, and I wore a respirator because I'm not ill, and I got sent home. You mean you wore a mask? Yeah, they, yeah no, a respirator. A mask is, they, from what they're saying, a mask ain't going to work once it's moist. A respirator right. will protect you, you know. But um, no, right, I okay. overreacted, so I got sent home. Oh, my. Which I'm all right with. I didn't want to go to work anyway. Yeah, what kind of job do you have, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, feel free to tell me you, you don't want to say, but maintenance, maintenance work. Okay. Yeah, yeah my wife doesn't so. isn't going to work because she's we kind of work similar jobs. She's clean. She's cleaning, kind of maintenance similar. Mm -hmm. um, I you know I'm, yeah. I clean toilets too, but I do you know put toilets yeah. in and all that too. Right. She does the right. cleaning and she has to drive a bus, and it's all elderly people pretty much. I said no. Oh, wow. uh -uh. Yeah, you're not yeah. going to work. Yeah, this is a this is a time to to be. I mean, there's there. You know, we, we used to make fun of people with OCD. Remember Mr. Monk, that whole TV store, you know, series about Mr. Monk, the 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 detective who had OCD and wouldn't touch things. We're all Mr. Monk now. We've got to become Dwayne. Thank you.